Hello and welcome to my long overdue video about how to use the markdown templates for creating essays. So this is the repository and here is the essay.markdown file. We can preview it with the markdown preview enhanced module or extension I guess like so okay now we uh, see the preview which is done through HTML which makes it such that if we modify this document we instantly see the changes which is very nice um, here we have the front matter of the document. It defines the title, date, author, bibliography. We actually don't see them here on this preview, but if we go to the essay folder and then use the make file and make the PDF from this markdown document, here we will have the PDF output. We'll open it in the default application like so and here now here we will, we will have the title uh, my name date and all the contents and also the references uh, we can also put it here on the side and let's update something hello and let's recompile the document and now it should show us the changes we made on the PDF document also well I will show you the make file inside the make file we actually have two commands uh, well first we have some variables the build directory as shown here uh, the name of the file uh, here is the pdf creating command first it makes the make uh, the build directory uh, then it uses pandoc uh, it takes in the markdown file the essay file uh, this one allows the references this one allows for uh, this one is for the mathematics so these uh, this one uses LaTeX and this one defines the output file which is shown here and here we want to use PDF engine uh, we want to use the Excel LaTeX uh, because it allows us to use Unicode like the Pi character or the integral character instead of having to type them like oh int but we can actually use the unicode character and these references are just the standard uh, bib i guess this is bib latex file anyway and these are the keys the keys are here they are used we use this at and the key like Dixon brief this type of notation and then if we add the brackets what we get is let's see we open this put it on the side put this on the side uh, okay, here we see the reference. Okay, let's recompile the file. Okay, uh, it will show it as like this without the square, square brackets and like this with the uh, brackets if we use square square brackets. I think that's about it.